Hello, welcome to Outside Xbox and some gameplay from Dirt 4, the latest in the series formerly known as Colin McRae Rally. There are some big changes for this follow-up to the wildly successful hardcore spin-off Dirt Rally, but trust us when we say the important stuff remains unmolested. Here are six things you need to know about Dirt 4. The clever technology at the heart of Dirt 4 is called Your Stage, and it's the reason the game's career mode will have 300 unique rally stages for you to attack. Your Stage is a smart stage generation tech that takes a chunk of real-world topography, like this actual slice of Australia, and can then scribble an almost endless number of unique routes across it. You can specify the length and complexity of the stage, and the game does the rest of the hard work, creating a stage that ultimately is of the same quality as the stuff you saw in Dirt Rally. If you placed them side by side in a blind test and didn't cheat by extensively playing Dirt Rally, you genuinely struggle to work out which one was designed by a robot. In addition to dusty Australia, there will be four more locations, the baked tarmac of Spain, snow in Sweden, muddy gravel in Wales, and the lighter gravel and dirt of Michigan. Plus, there'll be different weather conditions and times of day to further mix things up. And before you ask, sadly there will be no real-life stages like Sweet Lamb or the Calder Torini returning from Dirt Rally because all things World Rally Championship are now sewn up tight by the official WRC games. You were going to ask that, right? About Sweet Lamb and the Calder Torini? It's not just me who knows the names of individual rally stages, right? Oh. We have something of a masochistic relationship with the handling in Dirt Rally. On the one hand, it is uncompromisingly realistic and will happily fling your car off a cliff with very little warning. On the other hand, those crashes are usually our fault for coming into the corner backwards with the throttle pinned. Hardcore simulation fans were a little worried the fact that this is called Dirt 4 rather than Dirt Rally 2 means a return to more arcadey handling. We are assured that is not the case, and that in fact, Dirt 4 is an even more sophisticated spreadsheet of mathematics than the previous game. In particular, there have been vast improvements to the aerodynamic behaviour of the cars. So now when you fly off that cliff, it will at least be along an aerodynamically correct flight path. <laughs> This is still Dirt 4 though, a main series game, and you can't have rally noobs being frightened off by a handling model that requires a degree in mechanical engineering to operate. That's why Dirt 4 has what's called Gamer Mode, a handling model that will allow you to chuck cars around using a pad without spending your whole time mashing the restart button. Gamer Mode is filled with smart rally-specific driver aids like increased off-throttle deceleration and sensible improvements like calculating automatic gear shifts by torque figures rather than overall speed. The result is a game that can feel like the more arcadey entries in the series if you so choose, but has all the same clever maths going on under the hood. If anything, Gamer Mode is a bit cheaty, which is why the simulation and Gamer leaderboards will be kept separate. Bit of a missed opportunity not calling it Dirty Casual Mode though. Dirt 4 will have a total of 50 cars for you to encrust with an immovable layer of mud on your quest to be the world's greatest rallyist. New additions include this humble Group N Peugeot 205 GTI to accompany the more ludicrous bewinged versions from Dirt Rally. There's also, finally, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6 that Tommy Mackinnon made famous, but be warned, when I drove that one, it attempted to kill me and leave my bones to be bleached by the sun in the Australian Outback. Fair warning. There are no WRC cars in Dirt 4, sadly, for the same reason there are no WRC stages anymore. That license is held exclusively by the official WRC game. Never mind though, because also featured is hands down the ugliest Subaru Impreza rally car we've ever seen. Seriously, this monstrosity is an insult to those awesome rally spec Imprezas that won titles in the mid 90s and early 2000s. Still, those ones will almost certainly be in there too. Returning from Dirt 3 is Land Rush Mode, which is knockabout off-road racing American style. Just imagine Rallycross with more banjo music and Bud Light. With proper simulation underpinnings though, this is a genuine recreation of a motorsport, rather than an occasional arcade palette cleanser. We're also promised 900 horsepower trophy trucks that pitch and roll through turns like their suspension is made of blancmange, which should be a unique and probably nauseating challenge. Like Dirt Rally before it, Dirt 4 will be the official game of the World Rally Cross Championship with the addition of two new venues, Montalegre in Portugal and Loac Bretagne in France. That means there's now five officially licensed Rally Cross circuits. Unfortunately, we have precisely zero gameplay of it, so you'll have to imagine these screenshots in motion. I can do the noises if you like. <laughs> 
So there you go, some brand new gameplay from Dirt 4 and the six things you need to know about it. So what do you make of Dirt's new direction? Let us know in the comments and like and subscribe for more of me waffling on about racing games and also some other stuff, I guess. See you next time.